Hey everyone, Father Dean here. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because rather than going on a walk with you, I want to share one of my hobbies with you. Uh, my love for astronomy. Don't worry, I still went for a walk today, uh, but for all of you, I wanted to get into a bit of astronomy because there's a wonderful event happening tonight that I hope some of us will, will be able to see. When I was a young boy, the first books that I checked out from my school library were books on the planets. A couple of years after that, I got my first telescope from, from my dad. I've always loved astronomy, and even in my journey of faith, astronomy has held a significant place in that journey. And so being able to study the night sky, to be able to look up to the heavens and, and view God's creation in all its grandeur and majesty uh, has always been very special to me. And, and I hope that you'll be able to experience a bit of that as well uh, if you haven't been able to already. And so tonight I wanted to share with you a bit about a meteor shower that's happening right now. In fact, the peak is tonight. So I'm going to try to hurry up and finish this video and, and get it posted uh, in case you haven't heard about the meteor shower yet. This meteor shower is the Lyrid meteor shower. It happens every year around this time. And it's a result of Earth passing through the debris field uh, of the, the comet Thatcher. As Thatcher orbits around the solar system, it leaves some, some debris uh, in the path of, er of Earth's orbit. And so each time, each April, we come, the planet comes through this area and we get a few extra shooting stars in these nights. How many shooting stars do we expect to see this year during the Lyrid meteor shower? They're estimating about 20 to 30 per hour. That's pretty darn good. Now, that's just an estimate. It's a guess. Uh, the point is to get out there and to look up and to at least experience uh, the night sky and hope that the estimates are good. Some years are better than others, but I think we're going to be in for a, a nice show tonight uh, for a couple of reasons. One, uh, there's going to be virtually no moon in the night sky. Uh, we're close to a full moon, I believe, or excuse me, we're close to a new moon. Uh, the new moon, I believe, uh, occurs actually tomorrow night. Uh, and also because of the various uh, lockdown and social distancing measures, things like that that we've had to do, there's less pollution in the sky, which makes viewing things like meteor showers uh, a lot easier. And so I would encourage you to uh, take a few moments tonight and, and to view this wonderful site. Now, speaking of the measures we've had to take, am I asking people to go out and invite a bunch of friends to go stargazing? Normally, that would be a wonderful thing. I would be all for getting a group of people together, bringing my own telescope out, my binoculars, and, and just spending a night out under the stars. We can't do that this year. Uh, unfortunately, that's just the reality. But that shouldn't stop us from individually uh, enjoying this wonderful sight. So if you're able to safely, uh, whether alone or with those that you who you live with, uh, then please do take advantage of, of this tonight. And so the Lyrid meteor shower, uh, if you look up in the night sky, it appears to radiate from the constellation Lyra. What does that mean? That means that it seems that all the meteors are coming from that constellation, that the center point, the radiant point of the meteors is near the constellation Lyra. And so that's the first place we want to look tonight. How do you find Lyra if you don't know the constellations? Luckily, it's very, very easy. The first thing you want to do is look for the star Vega. All right, Father Dean, how do we find Vega? Well, Vega just happens to be one of the brightest stars in the night sky. In fact, it's the fifth brightest star in the night sky. So even if you don't know it's Vega, I almost guarantee you that if you've ever looked up, you've probably noticed Vega. And if I were to point it out to you, you would say, oh yeah, that's it. But let me tell you how to find it. 
you're going to get outside, allow your eyes to adjust. Hopefully you're gonna bundle up a little bit as well because some areas are still a little chilly. You're gonna get outside and you're gonna look towards the northeast. Look towards the northeast and then start looking up into the sky. In that general direction, you're gonna see a very bright star. I guarantee you, so let me get a mosquito away from me there. Uh, <laughs> I guarantee you that that will be the star Vega. So again, northeast, start looking up in the sky and that will be Vega. Vega is part of the constellation Lyra, which we get our name from tonight. If you want to be sure, if you're not familiar with the constellation Lyra, or if you don't have like a, the Skyview app or something like that, there's another way to tell if you're in the right spot. You're going to look at the bright star, which hopefully is Vega, and you're going to see, does it form a triangle? Do I see a triangle with this star? That's known as an asterism. The asterism, the star shape in this sense, is called the summer triangle it's very well known sometimes even used for navigation uh, my campers at camp pandola uh, certainly know the summer triangle by now because I, i've shown it all i've shown it to them um, but the summer triangle consists of vega at the top uh, which is the brightest of the three stars and then deneb and altair so if you look towards the northeast you look up in the sky fairly high in the sky you see that bright star and it forms a triangle, you're right where you need to be. The best time to look is going to be after midnight. I mean, you can go out after the sun is down, make sure the sky is nice and dark, but really you want to go after midnight and spend a good long amount of time out there to view these meteors. When you get out there, again, let your eyes adjust. It's gonna take probably about 30 minutes. Get comfortable maybe a lawn chair or a blanket or something like that, and just enjoy the show. Now, one word that, one uh, other tip that you might like is that if you look towards the radiant near Vega in the constellation Lyra, if you look towards the radiant, that's where the shooting stars look like they're coming from. But I would say move your eyes a little bit away from the radiant of where it looks like the star shooting stars are coming from because that way you'll get to see even more long tails you know so it's like if you're looking directly at the the point where they're coming from they're going to be pretty short because they're you know coming right at you right but in this case move your eyes a little bit away from it so you can see those longer tails and hopefully we get to see those 20 to 30 uh, meteors shooting stars uh, tonight. So get out there if you're able to, dress warm, enjoy the night sky. Please know that my prayers continue to be with you all. I ask you to pray for me as well. And in the future, hopefully I can do uh, another of these Ad Astra videos uh, time and again in order to, to share some of the uh, astronomical events happening. God bless you all, and I look forward to seeing you soon.